This is 2.3 approximations of trigonometric function values. We have to use approximations of trig function values whenever our trig function has an angle that is not a quadrantal angle. It's not a 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree angle. And the angle's reference angle is not 30, 45, or 60 degrees. The most important thing that you can remember when we're using our calculator is to make sure that you're in the correct mode, either degrees or radians, depending on what type of measurement you're needing. Now the calculators that we're going to be using in finding these approximate values are the two that are allowed in this course, the TI-36X Pro or the TI-30X IIS, and I'm going to show you how to use both of those. So to approximate the value of each expression to the nearest 10 thousandth, first of all, if we see the little degree symbol, then we're going to um, know that it, your calculator needs to be in degree mode. So to find the approximate value of each of these, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the camera. Okay, so this is the TI-36X Pro. If you have this calculator, let me turn it on. Um, you need to make sure that you are in degree mode. So you can see right here in the screen um, what mode you're in. So it says that I'm in degree mode. If you were not in degree mode, if you're in radians, then you just press the mode button, which is this button right here, and you see degree is highlighted. If it were on radians, then um, you would just scroll using the little um, silver scroll buttons. So this scrolls, you know, uh, if we wanted it to be in radians, we would go there and hit enter. But we want it to be in degrees, so I can get out of that by pressing second and quit. And then to find the sine of 38 degrees, so here are our sine, cosine, and tangent buttons. So we would just press sine and then 38. So it's in degrees. We can close the parentheses or not. Um, in this case, it really doesn't matter. And they want us to approximate the value to the nearest 10,000th. Okay, so that would be um, 0 0.6. One, so it's 156. So we need to round up so it would be 1616. Um, would be the value of the sine of 38 degrees. So now for the cosine of 38.7, I'm going to show you on the TI-30XIIS. Um, okay, so this is the TI-30XIIS. And again, on the screen, you can tell what mode you're in. So if you look on the screen here, um, I know it's hard to see. This is actually in radians. So to change that, there is a button right here beside the second button that says uh, DRG. So if we press that, it's on radians right now. So I'm just going to scroll over using my arrows and then hit enter. Hit the enter button down here. And that puts it in degrees. And so now you can see um, in the on the screen that it's in degree mode. Okay, so we're going to find the value of the cosine of 38.7 degrees. Okay, so we just press the cosine button and 38.7 um, and hit enter. And then again, we're going to round to the nearest 10 thousandth. So this would be 0 0.780 because the next number is a 4, so we wouldn't round that up to a 1. Now, to find the tangent of 38 degrees, 7 minutes, 29 seconds, instead of changing all of that to um, doing the conversion and changing it to decimal degrees, we can put it straight in the calculator. In, on this TI-30XIIS, if we press tangent and then 38, there is a little button here 
that's got um, the degree mark, the minute mark, and the second mark on it. So if I press it once and hit enter, that puts that's the degree. And then seven, if I press this again and scroll over, that's minutes. And then 29 seconds. So I'll press it again, scroll over twice um, to get to the seconds button. And I get zero um, point seven eight and then it's four seven so that four would round up to a five let me write that five a little bit better <laughs> okay um, and let me just show you how you can do the degree minute seconds on the TI 36 X Pro. All right, so to get the tangent of 38 degrees, 7 minutes and 29 seconds on the 36 X, the TI 36 X Pro, um, I would again just press the tangent button, and then to get the degrees, minutes, seconds, well, let me put in 38. Then if you go to mode, and um, well, that's, that's not the right thing. Hold on one second not the mode button, the math button, which is this button right here. Then we can scroll over and DMS stands for degrees, minutes, seconds. So number one is degrees and then seven, press the math button again, scroll over to DMS. Number two is the minutes and then 29, press the math button again. And number three is the seconds and we get the same answer. So then for the sine of negative 246 degrees, let me clear this, the sine of negative, so you just press the negative button, don't press minus, because um, it'll come up with an error, 246, you don't have to, if it doesn't have um, anything other than degrees, you know, if it doesn't have the minutes and seconds, you don't have to put the degree symbol. Um, and then we get 0 0.91 and then 3, 5, so that would round up to a 4. Because there are no buttons on the calculator for cosecant, secant, and the cotangent functions, then you have to type the expression um, using the trig function's reciprocal function. So for example, if we needed to do the secant of 40 degrees, we would put it in as one over the cosine of 40 degrees. So for E, we have the secant of 97.977 degrees. So I need to put it in as one over the cosine of that angle. All right, so right here, um, there's a little fraction button. So if I press that button, that creates my fraction. And then, like I said, it's secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So, well, I gotta put one first, one, and then scroll down to the denominator. And then cosine of 97.977. And I get a negative seven point, um, what are we going to? I guess we'll still go to the thousandths place. So this would be a negative 7.20 and then we round that to 6. <laughs> Alright, so then for cosecant, let me switch to the um, other calculator so you can see how to do it in that calculator. Alright, so cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, so we would um, we don't have a button that, that makes it look like a fraction on this calculator. So we would just do 1 over or divided by um, sine of 56 degrees. And just sine of 56. And then we get 1.206. All right, and then for the cotangent of 56 degrees and 45 second, or 45 minutes, um, we know that cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, 
So again, we would just do one divided by, and um, it would be tangent of 56. Now, since it's got degrees and minutes, we need to put the degree symbol. Um, oh, wrong thing. Let's see. Oh. Right here, the degree symbol. And then 45. Again, go here and scroll over to minutes. And close my parentheses. Okay, and then I get 0 0.6, 6556, so that would round up to 6, um, 656. All right. Now, we can also use a calculator to find the missing angle of a trig function. So, we were finding the values of the angles on the previous examples. Now we're going to find the angles for a particular value. And the way that we do that is to use the inverse functions. So the little negative one that you see um, in these values here, those are not exponents. That means inverse. So that's sine inverse of x, cosine inverse of x, or tangent inverse of x. And that gives us the measure of an angle whose sine, cosine, or tangent, respectively, is x. So this says to use a calculator to find the angle theta in the interval between 0 and 90 degrees that satisfies each condition. All right, so for the sine of theta that has a value of 0.5 or 1 half, um, basically what we're doing is we're trying to get the angle by itself. So to get rid of this sine off of the angle, we take the inverse of sine. So sine inverse and sine, they cancel each other out, and so we're going to take the sine inverse. Sorry about that. Let's see. The sine inverse of 1 half. Okay, so these cancel out, and so the angle is going to be the sine inverse of 0.5. Okay, so if you'll notice, on the same button for sine, has, it has sine inverse. We just have to press it twice, and then that gets us to sine inverse. And so we're finding sine inverse of 0.5, and that's 30 degrees. Okay, so theta is 30 degrees. Okay, now for secant um, of theta, we don't have a button for secant, but secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So the way that we would put this in the calculator, it would be cosine inverse, so press the cosine button twice, and then we take the reciprocal of uh, the value. Okay, so we can put it in as a fraction. So we have our little fraction button, and it's 1 over what they've given us, 1 Point zero five four five eight two nine, and then scroll over to get out of the denominator, denominator, and we get eighteen point five uh, degrees for theta. All right. Okay, and then for the tangent of um, theta, we just do its reciprocal. Uh, I mean, not the reciprocal, the inverse of tangent. Okay, so tangent, if we press it twice, we get tangent inverse. And just put in um, what they've given us, 0.5773500. And we get 29.999 repeating, so that would just round up to uh, 30 degrees. And that's how we use our calculators to approximate the values of the trig functions.